Hey everybody, time for another little update. Um, what's been going on? Last Friday, I had another grandson born, Ashton Edward, and he came into the world very quickly. We were all taken by surprise. And he was early. Um, not super early, but I think just over a week or so. So, um, when I got the text uh, Friday morning, I was really surprised. Um, but anyhow, I wouldn't be a good grandma without saying, here's a little picture. And so that is four grandsons born this year. And, um, Dylan was the one that was born the day before Paul passed away. And uh, he is the only one that doesn't have, um, that isn't named after Paul. The three that came after all have either Paul's first name or middle name as their middle name. And Paul would have loved that. He would, he just, if he knows it now, he's smiling because um, he always thought his name was great. He used to kid the, kid the kids. Um, whenever we found out they were pregnant, gonna be having a baby, he'd say, you know, Paul's a great name. Or Paul or Paulina, if you like. And so, um, yeah, he would be thrilled that they, um, they have his name. And it's really special to me, and it means a lot that they all thought enough to do that but anyhow um, so that brings us up to 10 grandkids now and even though I love each and every one of them they're all special and a blessing it would be okay if the kids wanted to slow down just for a little while um, anyhow what else oh I'd say about four or five days ago we got our first hard freeze and uh, I decided not to cover whatever was left out there. I picked what I could and then I just let it go. Uh, I'm ready to give up gardening now. So um, I did go out there and start cleaning out the beds. Uh, I could do the tomatoes though. I have to have my son help me with that. But um, I'll show you a little something that these plants, even the pepper plants, had some really deep roots. But the oregano is still holding on, and I'm going to clip back and cover up the uh, lavender and see if it will last over the winter, although I really doubt it. And I may do the same with the oregano. And the um, parsley is still holding on, so I'm clipping that a little bit here and there. I also um, have been just yesterday and today gathering grapes. Um, my son's mother-in-law has them growing there. I don't know if it was her parents that first started growing them. And um, it's not a huge grapevine, but there's still plenty, even though it's cold and there's been a freeze. So I'm, I just all of a sudden remembered she told me that last year that I could take whatever I wanted. So I went over there and sure enough, there's plenty of grapes there. So I've been gathering them and I'm hoping 
to be able to make some um, grape jelly. Um, I haven't done that in a really long time, so I would enjoy doing that, and the kids might enjoy getting some. Um, what's next? Oh, last weekend my sister and I drove up to Eau Claire, which is quite a distance from here. It's about I don't know, close to four hours. It's in uh, northwest Wisconsin. Our uncle um, has been very, very ill and is in the hospital um, in an induced coma. So we wanted to get up there and, you know, see him and support the family. My, uh, my aunt, my cousin, and you know, just be there. And uh, we were surprised because a couple of our other cousins were there. We didn't know they were coming up. And so it turned out to be kind of a nice little family visit and all of that. And um, so far, my uncle's doing pretty well. He's actually improved since then. So that's wonderful news. The not so great news was the drive back. So um, Sunday morning, I looked out the window and it was snowing snowing in October oh I wasn't happy at all I just kept thinking oh man this drive well I did take a little bit of footage So yeah, the snow lasted and was messy. I had to I had to reduce my speed, so it lasted for at least hour and a half, close to two hours. So it really added a lot of time to our drive. But the further south we got, the warmer it became, and it dried up. So there wasn't even really rain. I mean, there was just that little bit of time, you know, when it goes from snow to a little bit of rain, and, and that was it. And um, just with the slower speeds, we managed fine. It just took us longer to get home. And so, uh, yeah, that's that. I have a couple birthdays here in October. Um, I haven't been back up to the cabin yet since my last video. I'm thinking I might be going up there this weekend, maybe. The following weekend, um, a bunch of my sons are going up there to work on the roof. And in fact, I think they're just taking off the old roof and putting on a new one. There were a couple of small leaks um, from this past winter. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but I don't know that kind of stuff. So they went up there and looked and said, no, we should just replace it all and be done with it. And then you're good for a long time. So I'm very grateful that they're taking the time out to do that and, and you know, drive up there and work all day on that. And um, hopefully they'll get it done in a day. And I'm thinking they will. I think there's enough of them going where they should be able to get it done in um, the one day. And I have planned so far um, a few more cooking videos. Just stuff um, that's kind of geared towards the fall harvest, but is also kind of good for, um, you know, the holiday season. Different things you may want to make or desserts and you know, stuff like that. Hopefully you guys will enjoy them and you'll make them yourself. Um, I try never to do anything overly complicated. I think sometimes simple is the best way to do things. But there are other videos coming up, a lot of different things. Um, again, as usual, always you guys, if you want, go ahead and leave me some ideas down in comments. I'd be more than happy to read them all and see what I can do. Um, I'll, I'll do more canning videos too. But there's, um, you know, there's a lot of different things I can cover. 
but sometimes even I draw a blank, you know, and I'd like to do videos that um, you guys would want to see yourself. Well, that's about all that's been going on. I've pretty much been staying busy. Um, I joined a new church, and I'm really happy about that. Um, meeting some new people, and that's always a good thing to do. And hopefully I'll be going to the pumpkin farm in the next week. If, uh, if I see anything good, I'll make sure to show you guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. It was nice talking to you, and you take care.